Well, it's been a long time, hasn't it? And it's been a, a long wait, and we really have missed you all. Really missed meeting here together to worship God. But I'm delighted to announce that after much careful consideration by the elders, we're now ready to reopen the building again for our regular Sunday services, beginning next Sunday, uh, the 6th of September, at 10.45. Now, because of the ongoing coronavirus situation, and with your safety in mind, things are going to look and feel a lot different which is basically what this short video is about. Before we go any further, out of love, we want to say to anyone out there who is 70 years or older to remember the stay alert and social distancing guidance should you choose to come along. Likewise, those who are particularly vulnerable to what's going on at the moment, the government is advising you not to attend church, but at the same time, they're giving you a choice to manage your own risks. So you're welcome, but please think about these things. For those who have been out of their houses recently, you're probably now used to waiting in queues at a two metre distance from other people. This is something we will be doing here if lots of people turn up together. If so, please form a queue and stay two metres apart. As you enter the building, you will see a number of dispensers containing sanitizer that have been installed on the walls. Please use them on your hands and those of your children before taking your seat. There are also some extra bottles of sanitizer dotted about for you to use as well. As you enter the main hall, a steward will direct you to the table you or your family will be sitting at. Each table will be at least two metres apart. Please stay at this table for the duration of the service. With your consent, another steward will make note of your attendance in a register. Visitors will also be asked to give their name and phone number for the purposes of track and trace. It's really important that we know who's definitely going to be here, because then we can plan ahead for any visitors who might turn up. So what we're asking you to do is to text me before 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning to let me know if you're definitely not going to be there for whatever reason. So we'll presume that you're going to be here, your table's going to be labelled, but if you can't make it, please let me know. During the service, we require all children to sit with their family bubble at a table. To help them during those restless times, activity sheets and colouring pencils will be provided. Unfortunately, we will not be able to hand out Bibles for use during the service. So where possible, please bring your own one and remember to take it away with you afterwards. The same goes for notebooks and pens. During the service, we will be able to enjoy listening to worship songs and music. One of the music group will be singing familiar songs that we know and love, and the words will be displayed on the screen as usual. However, at this time, we will not be able to sing out loud as a congregation. Before joining and after the service, we are having to limit each toilet unit to one person at a time although children should be accompanied by an adult. We are asking people to clean the seats and flush button with the antibacterial spray provided. Afterwards, please use sanitizer on your hands before taking your seat. For the time being, we will not be able to provide refreshments like we used to. However, people can bring their own food and drink so long as they take any litter away with them. One-way systems are now a familiar sight around the community. For our Sunday services, the entrance will be the usual one, but the new exit will now be through the gate in the garden. Please wait for the steward to indicate when it is okay for your family or bubble to leave the premises. During this time, we are asking you not to congregate either inside or outside the building. A recent government guideline involves the wearing of a face mask or covering in certain indoor venues. This doesn't apply to children under the age of 11. There are exemptions to that of course, but for those who don't meet the criteria for that, we are strongly encouraging the wearing of some kind of face mask or covering for the duration of the service. So there you go, that's how we're going to try and hopefully keep you as safe as possible during our Sunday services. If you've got any questions, ask me or one of the other elders, uh, but we're looking forward to seeing you. 
Uh, please remember to text me uh, before 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning and we'll see you soon.